All right. So the what everyone's gonna be talking about Lamar. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Lamar is just Lamar slash Aaron Rodgers. Mm-hmm. You gotta group them together. Yeah. Because like sure. one one of them makes an decision then it's or once some one of them has something decided, then the other one can kind of like open up the floodgates a little bit more for other teams or yeah. whatever have you. Now let's just say everything comes to fruition and Rodgers goes to the Jets. Then you have Lamar in an interesting situation. Because like we talked about last week, you got some teams that are just so-called not interested in him or don't really want him or whatever. And then all of a sudden, quote unquote, you know, it's like, come on, man. (laughs) It's like, I think it's a game between him and the Ravens, obviously. And again, like we talked about this last week with the Mars situation. It's like, yeah, you don't have an agent or whatever, but that shouldn't really subdue you Mm -hmm. into, you know, what's going on and like what your value should be. Um, Lamar's 26, an MVP quarterback, um, entering his prime of years. Um, so I mean, only like I said, people are so I got some backlash last week about Lamar's situation and how, um, you know, it's his whole situation and how he's been injury ridden and stuff like that. Um, but also, it's like first, like, like we said before, this is a weak free agency for a lot of positions. Um, so to acquire, to acquire a talent, like, like to acquire, to have an opportunity to acquire someone like Lamar and you need a quarterback, like there's like three or four teams I can name that need a quarterback right now. And they're like, live teams are like saying they're not interested in whatever. It's like, come on, that's bullshit. Um, but that being said, I mean, the situation, it has to figure out itself out one way or another. And I think once the Roger situation or if Lamar somehow gets a deal faster, um, It'll, it'll decide the rest of their free agency market and how the dominoes will fall. Mm-hmm. Um, I think a couple of guys in the free agency market that there's guys that um, definitely need to be on teams at this moment. Um, guy like Levante David, who has been yes. a good linebacker Thank you. for the last decade, um, is not going to get respect on his name right now. No, um, none. You know, so I think he belongs on a certain, definitely a contending team and middle linebacker. Um, or you know, outside linebacker, um, who really deserves his services. Yeah. Um, he really did. He had a, he had a nice <laughs> year this past year. So I mean, it's he's just doing it, and he's part of these linebackers that are like your um, like your Bobby Wagner, your Demonte, Demario Davises, who's these linebackers yeah. are in their mid or mid thirties that are absolutely crushing it. Mm-hmm. Um, so I could that's gonna help his market. Um, so I like I like him going to a certain you know. There's a potential for several teams, um, but he deserves to be on a playoff team. Um, obviously, the talk of the town on offensive lines is Orlando Brown. Um, you know him. You know he has. You know I, I feel he deserves to be on a playoff team. I'm not sure what happened with the Chiefs. They just didn't want to resign him or whatever. Yeah, um, I don't get it. Too much money or something like that. I don't know. I think I think it was a contract dispute. You know, in terms of money, it sounded yeah. like. Yeah. Um, I guess like a franchise tag. He had a franchise tag last year, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. So. So, I mean, there's there's definitely that, and that's also a big thing that could be holding up some teams, too, because, like, you know, like, if Orlando Brown, we land him, it's like we need him on we need my left tackle. Um, so, I mean, there's certain teams that definitely need a left tackle. Um, but um, what else? Oh, yeah, a couple more. Dalton Schultz, who was surprised. I, I yeah. Was, I was learning he was a free agent. Free agent. I, I didn't see that. Um, I figured he would have been picked up. So, I mean, yeah, like, I'm interested to see where he goes. Um I'm just surprised he's a free agent. I didn't know he was free agent until this morning. Um, so I mean, there's that. I'm interested to see where he goes because um, it'd be interesting if he went to Miami. It'd be interesting if he went to, um, you know, another team that maybe already has a decent tight end already, or he maybe goes to Cincinnati, who they have some guys that are there but haven't really stepped up per se at tight end. Um, so I mean, we'll see. I mean, just another additional weapon to another potential playoff team that. Could definitely use his services. Yeah. Um, and then what did I say? So I think I think I nailed all my points. Um, there's one person I didn't get to on the signings, What's and that, that was Kyrie White. We talked about his name for a moment. Yeah. But it's a big signing for Arizona, and I think because Kyrie nice. White is a very balanced linebacker. Um, and they only got I think they what, he got a two year, eleven million dollar deal or something. So he got a an average ish contract. Um, yeah. but that's a big get for Arizona already. Um, yeah, just because there's you know, 
because he knows the head coach and all their, you know, recency bias and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. 